the moment you want the truth, as badly as you just now wanted air, you'll find it. We can show you the truth, but you have to want it. Show me. I want to know the truth. China's capital city, Beijing, has been lashed by torrential rains this Wednesday morning. The local weather authority has raised a yellow rainstorm alert, warning of possible heavy floods and landslides in the suburban mountainous areas. Several roads in downtown Beijing have been inundated by floodwaters affecting commuters and motorists. The authority has also added more buses to major routes to ease commuter buildup. An overnight flood killed at least 17 people in a remote area in Afghanistan's eastern province of Khost on Monday. Officials said on Tuesday that the heavy rain-triggered flood hit Chitro, an area bordering northern Pakistan. Some houses were washed away by flash waters, causing casualties. District officials said the bad weather hampered the rescue, but most bodies had been retrieved by Sunday morning. In the central city of Anyang in Henan province, 40,000 residents have been evacuated to safety. Tourist sites like uh, Zhang Jiajie in the southern province of Hunan have experienced landslides as a result of the torrential downpour, and over 80 tourists were stuck in tour buses that were soon rescued by local firefighters. The Fengdu Mountains in the Chongqing municipality have also been temporarily closed due to flooding in the area. fields of green orchards. Clearly here in the Central Valley, the agricultural landscape is getting plenty of water. But then over here, you have the landscape for what the rest of California looks like for the most part, incredibly brown and dry because of the drought. They get no water. This is the dichotomy of the Central Valley. Big booming industry versus small minority communities. California's farmlands produce almost half of America's vegetables, fruits and nuts, consuming 80 percent of the state's developed water in the process. The people most affected by the drought are those who live along the farm belt. The Central Valley is filled with farmlands, farmlands that drink up all of the water that local communities need to keep themselves up and running. So people who live in places like Kern County and also in Tulare County are having a lot of problems with contamination in the water. Because of the drought, there isn't enough water to dilute or flush out contaminants like arsenic, nitrate, uranium and pesticides. None are visible to the naked eye, and because the pumps are not regulated for contamination, these small, predominantly Latino communities are disproportionately affected by unsafe drinking water. In Tulare County, drinking water has elevated levels of nitrate from fertilizer runoff and the unregulated storage and disposal of animal waste. The International Agency for Research on Cancer labels nitrates as a carcinogen to humans. Nitrates have caused rashes in those who have showered or bathed in contaminated water, and it has also been linked to causing different types of cancers, thyroid issues, reproductive complications, and even blood disorders when consumed. Last year, the State Water Resources Board issued this warning. Do not give water to infants. Infants below the age of six months who drink water containing nitrate may quickly become seriously ill and if untreated may die because nitrate levels can interfere with the capacity of the infant's blood to carry oxygen. To the south in Kern County's Arvin, the water supply is heavily contaminated with arsenic. 
Arsenic, which is naturally present in rocks and soil, can also be leached into groundwater from local mining operations. Using new GMO gene drive technology could be the most devastating biological weapon. A weapon. As the next generation of GMOs are being developed, we will likely see them in possession with a new trait being called gene drive. This quote unquote gene drive is designed to allow the genetic alterations to spread like a virus through the host population be it plant or animal. This has led to many scientists being concerned that this self-replicating technology could be used to make GMOs become sophisticated and secretive biological weapons against everything from crops to livestock and to humans. The claims by the scientific community is that this gene drive technology is being developed to help eliminate problems like mosquito-borne diseases and other international health problems. Despite the claims which are being made, publications like the Independent UK have also warned that gene drive could also make global health problems even worse. They could also irreversibly contaminate the whole food chain with their GM traits. A group of 27 highly respected geneticists recently sent a letter to the journal Science urging the scientific community to more seriously consider the colossal impact that drive gene drive technology could have on the environment and even human health. What this technology will do is allow genetic butchers to set off an unstoppable chain reaction which could completely change an organism in a matter of just a couple of generations. A geneticist named David Gurwitz from Israel's Tel Aviv University warned, quote, just as gene drives can make mosquitoes unfit for hosting and spreading the malaria parasite, they could conceivably be designed with gene drives carrying cargo for delivering lethal bacteria toxins into humans, he says. An article that was recently published in Nature magazine outlines a gene modification method known as CRISPR this technique is celebrated as being cheap, quick, and easy to use. It involves the enzyme CAS9 being delivered to an organism's target DNA. The enzyme is able to make changes to the DNA by either disrupting them or inserting additional genetic information into them. Gene drive technology artificially speeds up the spread rate of GM traits. Under normal circumstances, altered genes only have about 50% chance of being passed on to future generations. A visual diagram published by the independent industries is showing how, even over the course, course of several generations of exposure, genetically altered mosquitoes only pass their traits on to a small percentage of their offspring, preserving wild type, wild type features within its population to some degree. Gene drive inheritance, on the other hand, is an entirely different animal. Gene drive alterations are artificially sped up to promote more rapid changes within the population, so they infect many more organisms at a much faster rate. Gene drive inheritance also spreads GM traits much more quickly within a single organism, resulting in a nearly total transformation within just a few subsequent generations, as illustrated in The Independent. Quote, the additional genetic, genetic elements of CRISPR, a type of gene drive technology, cause a chain reaction where the mutation is passed between chromosomes in the same organism, causing up to 97% inheritance in resulting offspring generations, end quote, explains the independent about gene drive inheritance. And this is the shocking part of it, CRISPR. CRISPR gene editing technique costs only $30. CRISPR gene editing technique costs only $30.
An article that was recently published in Nature magazine outlines a gene modification method known as CRISPR. The technique is celebrated as being cheap, quick, and easy to use. It involves an enzyme, CAS9, being delivered to an organism's target DNA. The enzyme is able to make changes to the DNA by either disrupting them or inserting additional genetic information into them. The most terrifying part about the technology is a price tag. For a mere $30, nearly anybody can get their hands on it and use it however they want. It is the low cost combined with the widespread availability that makes this technology so dangerous. A molecular biologist out of the University of California, Berkeley, by the name of Brian Farley, wrote, quote, The two applications of CRISPR technology that I'm most worried about are edits to human reproductive tissue and the generation of and release into the wild of transgenic organisms that are capable of prop propagating edits, end quote. And he added, if we generate successfully edited sperm or eggs and then use them for in vitro fertilization, we'll create individuals that carry those edits in very single, in every single cell of their bodies. I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Greetings, uh, brothers and sisters, and God bless you. Um, I feel led to to share this message today with you. Um, the time to turn from fables to the truth is now. One way ticket to heaven, Jesus is coming. Um, as as we grow closer to the return of the Lord Jesus Christ in the air for His church, you know, in the rapture of the church prior to the tribulation period beginning. Uh, also known as Daniel's 70th week, we are seeing a growing, growing deception occur around the world. Not only do we have major religious leaders proclaiming that all religions get you to the same God, and as long as you're a good person, you go to heaven, but we also have those who claim to be Christian proclaiming the same thing. We are seeing what was foretold in the Holy Bible playing out right in front of us now. We must remain and preach the truth. The only truth is Jesus Christ. There is no other truth. 
There is no other way to the kingdom of God but by Jesus Christ. He is the only mediator between God and men. The all religions get you to the same God preaching is a lie straight from the pit of hell. Mary will not save you. Buddha will not save you. Allah will not save you. Muhammad will not save you. No other false gods or false idols or statues or things made with men's hands is going to save you. There's one way, and that is Jesus Christ, who is the mediator between God and men. Remain in the truth. Turn from fables and false idols to the truth. The way, the truth, and the life, and that is the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the truth set you free today. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. The signs are all here that the Holy Bible told us would occur when the Lord would return for his church. But the fact remains that today is always a day of salvation. We are not promised our next breath. If you were to die today, would you open your eyes in paradise or in an eternity separated from God? And the choice is there, the gift of God. <clears throat> Excuse me here. The choice is yours. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Receive that gift today. And there's some scriptures I wanted to share with you guys today. 1 Timothy 4, 1 to 4, 2. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Also 2 Timothy 4, 4. And they shall turn their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. John 14, 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Acts 4.12, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name, none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. 1 Timothy 2.5, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Romans 10.9, That if thou shalt confess with the mouth, with that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead then you shall be saved so if you're someone that has been worshiping an idol or a false god or whatever it is all right turn from that fable to the truth the only truth the only way and the only life the only entrance the only ticket to the kingdom of heaven, which is through Jesus Christ. He paid the price for you on that cross. He was brutally tortured and killed on that cross for you, for me, to the Jew, to the Greek, to the black, to the white. It doesn't matter for all of us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. But you see, there's heaven and there's hell. Two destinations you're going to spend your eternity. And the choice is yours. We're given free will. None of us deserve heaven. We're all guilty. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. None of us are righteous. We're all guilty before God, but you see the ransom, the, the price was paid on that cross at Calvary. Jesus Christ took, paid his own life on that cross for the sins of the world. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So be born again today, because except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Invite him into your life. Say, Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart today. I admit to you that I am guilty before you. I have fallen. I am a sinner. And I ask, Lord Jesus Christ, that you forgive me of my sins, both known and unknown. I do believe with all my heart that you died on that cross so that we may have forgiveness of our sins and have eternal life. And I do believe after you died on that cross, you were buried in the tomb and you resurrected. You rose from the dead on the third day. And I invite you into my heart, Lord Jesus Christ. Make me new today. Guide me. Be with me. Make that decision today because there is no promise of tomorrow. God bless each and every one of you. And again, if you're someone that has, you know, been seeking fables or seeking anything else but Jesus Christ, turn to the truth today and let the truth set you free, which is in Christ Jesus, King of kings and Lord of lords, the Son of God.
Keep looking up, brothers and sisters, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Son of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming back quickly. For God will bring every deed into judgment, Ben Judah, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. I, the Lord, search the heart, I test the mind, and I will give every man according to his ways and according to the things he has done. By the deeds of the law, no flesh shall be justified in his sight. For by grace you are saved, through faith. This is not for yourselves, it is the gift of God. Be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. He who believes in the Son is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Repent. Jesus is coming. Don't throw your life away. Give it to Jesus while there's still time. Please. And he will hold us accountable. Time is running out. And I don't want you to go to hell. <laughs> You've sinned against God, like I have. He calls us to love and obey Him in everything we do. What we do in front of people, what we do in secret. Even down to what we think. God loves you. 2,000 years ago, He proved that. God became a man, Jesus Christ, and He suffered and died on the cross to save you. He literally died to take your punishment and my punishment upon himself so that we could be forgiven and set free. When Jesus rose from the dead and he ascended to heaven, he defeated death and hell, and he's offering you and I eternal life. God can do anything if you are willing. God can save you. Confess your sins and turn away from them and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus, if it's not too late, forgive me for my sins. Jesus is King. Jesus is King. He is Lord forever.